This is the review of the Great Plains F86 transmitter ready. Yay. So, uh, this is an ultra micro, as you can see, based off the size, EDF. And Great Plains claims they are the first person to make a micro EDF. So, let's get started. So, usually this plane, Transmitter Ready, costs about 140 bucks. I got it for 60 on a super deal. So, let's start off with what you get. Of course, you get the plane. And you get one battery. It is a 7.4 volt, 250 milliamp, 20C, 2S LiPo. So you get one of those. I bought two extras just for the sake of it. You get the 2S 7.4 volt balancing charger that powers from the car adapter, which I find no use for. So, yeah. But this is where the car adapter plugs in that I will not be using. Because I don't own a car, quite obviously. Uh, and neither will I be able to use another car. Because who has time for that anyways? And, of course, you get the F86. Which I kind of hope you'd get if you bought a plane. So, um, very nicely detailed. I haven't flown it yet. So, it is one day old in my house. I just picked it up yesterday. Um, it looks pretty nice. Looks like it'll fly nice. Pretty fast model. Um, I like the colors. It does have a magnetic canopy for the battery. And this is a Micro Dean's connector, I think. But anyways, you can see there's the receiver. There's all the ports for your different channels. Now, this is a four-channel plane. So, generally, planes of this kind lack the rudder control the rudder oh the rudder because I don't know why and they're usually just aileron elevator throttle this one has the rudder which is good for slow flying like when you're landing you get more control out of the plane and you stall less um there's the hyperflow ducted fan that they claim gives max efficiency uh, I don't know. It it should work good. I've seen some pretty good stuff about it. Um, it's pretty far back there. See, so like I'll, I'll show you. It's like I can't even reach it, but it is all the way back there. Oh, uh, there's the business end. See. Um, what else is there? This is the Eight Ball Express. So, if you're not familiar with this um, type of aircraft, they flew in the Korean War against the MiG-15s, which E-Flight has a MiG-15, so, perfect matchup there. Um, so, they were superior. Um, let's see. Oh, the landing gear is removable. This one is a pain in the butt to get on there, because of the angle. And, I'd like to show you my pilot figure. He's optional. You don't have to put him in there. He doesn't come painted. I took a Sharpie and I just colored him in. Uh, just did yellow, black, and green. But other than that, let's put that on there. Um, this plane does come in RTF form as well. But I already had a transmitter compatible for the AnyLink. So, so now I just save some money. Um... So, what you'll need to buy is the AnyLink radio adapter, which is over here. This is it. Now, it does come with the Futaba training ports and all that other jazz for Futaba radios. I don't know. I've never used a Futaba radio before. Next. I have it set up for my 6i. I haven't really actually set it up yet because I just got it yesterday. It's a little bit of kind of a long process to set it up, which I'll be taking care of that later. But pretty much what happens is, get my six eye here. You've got 
a piece of Velcro here, which for some reason they gave me two identical Velcros. Like, they gave me two fronts and they didn't give me the other side of the Velcro. So, don't have it adhered right now. But, um, this obviously goes into the trainer port. But we'll leave it out for now because I gotta put the one that goes into the side port. I don't know what it's called. First, we'll plug it in just like that. And then we'll take this and we just push that into the back like that. Here's an any link beep and voila. Fantastic. It works. And then your model becomes magical and works with all the transmitter ready planes. So let's put that over there. Uh it does work with other radios like the five there goes the six. Um, the 5E, almost was my first radio, well, my first full-range transmitter. Um, but you need the, um, I think it's optional, I'm not sure, though, the, uh, separate extension battery pack, which is, like, 15 bucks. The anything itself is, like, 25 to 30 bucks, but... Um, well, there's not much else I can say about the plane, because I haven't flown it yet. I'll do a little bit of some size comparison, I guess. Um, let's see. The Abby Zone chaps coming up over here. Um, yes, those are lights on it. Just to let you know. So, um, what's this? Uh, well, the champ is a little bit wider, but that's because it's a high wing model and the Sabre is a swept wing jet. Champ's a little bit bigger, but it's again, it's a trainer slow flyer. So, it's supposed to be a little bit bigger. Um,. Let's see, what else do I have? Oh, let's move some stuff here. Oh. Ultra Micro Spitfire, which lost its spinner. So you can see, it's no longer there. Order new ones, though. Um, well, it's about the same size as the Spitfire. The rudder, as you can see, is way bigger. But that's just for the authority it needs. Here we go. Perfect. They're on top of each other, so now we can make comparison. They're about the same size. Um, F-86 is a little bit wider fuselage, but that's because it's got a big air intake. Spitfire is a little bit skinnier for its more sleek aerodynamical design. F-86 is a little bit wider because of the intake, which I already said, but that's just for the maximum power efficiency from the hyperflow ducted fan. So this pretty much completes our, I guess we could call it a somewhat unboxing of the Great Plains F-86 Sabre. Bye.